Today I'm going to attempt to create art with salt. But art is not real art unless it's emotional. So this salt is no ordinary table or cooking salt. This salt is tear salt. That's right. Every time I lost a competitive game, whether it be Dota or PUBG, I collected those tears. Every time I plucked my endlessly growing monobrow and forest of nose hairs, every onion I cut, every time I looked at the sad Keanu Reeves meme, he just looks so sad. And in the last six months, the tear collection has ramped to an unprecedented level with politics the way that they've been. Every time the news was on, I collected those tears. And of course, with my newborn infant daughter, every night she kept me up, every sleep deprived emotional tear was collected. And all of these were carefully distilled into the purest, most emotional salt man can create. What you're about to witness being created, ladies and gentlemen, is artwork that is accumulated from the most intense amount of emotion ever collected from a human being. Let's get started. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and every now and then I like to splash in some unconventional art materials and today it's going to be salt on black. And before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Audible, without whom this activity wouldn't be possible. Seriously, one of the most effective tear collecting methods has been listening to The Fault in Our Stars by John Green over and over and over. God, that book makes me cry. Audible is an amazing place for you to listen to fantastic audiobooks, an unprecedented library, whether you're looking for self-betterment or adventure, medieval, history, sci-fi, fantasy. There is just an almost endless library of audiobooks for you to listen to. And if you sign up by going to audible.com slash jazza or texting jazza to 500, 500 new members can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. Let me just put that in context for you for a second. You could get the first three books of the Wheel of Time series. That's over $200 worth of books and over 80 hours of epic fantasy listening adventure stories. Listening adventure stories. I feel like that's what Audible should change their name to. In my last Audible sponsored video, I asked you for your recommendations and someone suggested Will Save the Galaxy for Food. So I'm going to listen to that one while I work on a piece today because I have a feeling the artwork itself is going to be a little space themed because we have a lot of black to work with. So I feel like this might get me in the mood and be a cool book to listen to. Thanks for your recommendation, by the way. And of course, a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started in today's activity. I think before I attempt an ambitious piece to fill this whole thing with, I'm going to play a little bit with the medium and see how it works. <laughs> I'm going to use these containers, in theory, to paint with... Do you say paint or...? I don't know the technical term. Anyway, I don't want to spill a single grain of my precious tear sand. Took me a long time to gather all those tears. Ah! My tear salt! No! These are my applicators. Applicator one. Oh, that seems, that seems pretty effective. And I could maybe Maybe holding my finger over the over the tip. It's not a steady enough flow. You know like how people like when they cut cocaine, <laughs> they like use their credit card and then, then snort the cocaine. <laughs> Stop talking about cocaine. I don't do cocaine, okay? Alright. I'm just gonna use my uh my Mikey transportation card. I uh definitely don't do this all the time. The idea is I can shape the lines and get a cleaner edge by using the card. All right, now gradients. You're gonna get fancy now. What do I do? Do I like, do I just, just like flick this around? That sort of works. I do think that this is, uh, this is gonna work. And the cool thing is there seems to be a pretty easy method of cleaning up and sort of moving things around. I can just sort of Move it around. Oh, let's like, get yeah, fancy. I'm gonna do a sphere. You ready? I'm gonna do a sphere. I was gonna say like when you're putting this down to get a gradient that you just pepper it around. But do you like is pepper it a the verb at, or is it adjective? I don't even know. But you don't pepper it because it's salt. But can you say you just salt it? No. Who says that? Just salt it. What? I wanted this to be like way smoother. I'm gonna try a different applicator. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I've got this for the cleanup later, and I'm gonna try this out. I feel like maybe with a bit of, bit of squeeze control, I could uh, get a cleaner look. There's so much emotion in this bottle. <laughs> oh, there, there's some. Oh, this is, it's terrible. Maybe if I cut holes in it. So this is why the experimentation process is important because I need to know how to work with the medium. Oh, 
It's a bit poopy. I don't know, could be useful for something, but I want a clean, like, solid stream. How do I? It's got a big hole. Oh my god, I broke this scissors. These are falling apart. I'm worried I'm gonna cut myself on the handle of the scissors. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> what is this? The handle on these scissors is really sharp. Ugh, this is this is less less smooth of an opening. Uh, less less of a smooth opening than I would have hoped. Oh god! Didn't cut myself. It's all right. We are all good. We're all good. Oh, 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 yeah! It wasn't pointless doing all of that faffing about. Look at that gorgeous clean line. Oh my God! I am disproportionately excited about this. <laughs> I've never been so excited about pouring salt in my entire life. I am such a child. So you really can get quite a clean edge and it looks sort of cool. Ready for the magic? Oh yeah! Oh god! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, how good is that? Except it doesn't look very spherical. I can fix that. Just gonna hand paint. I keep saying paint. It's not painting. What is this? Well, there's a, a bit of a sphere. It looks pretty cool. It definitely looks like a planet, like for sure. It looks like, I mean, you could almost, where's the light coming from? You can almost add like, this, and this could easily be sort of seen as like a sun behind the planet, which is kind of cool. Really need to build up that salt. So uh, might need to need some more tears. I need to get more emotional to make sure I have enough salt. Cause, cause the salt is from my tears. The circle just looks like it has a tumor now. Does it need to be glowy? How do I make it look like a sun? I need to just go, make it gradient. Hey, look at that. And it's got a lens flare. Does that work? Is this working? Not really. Does that look like a lens flare? I mean, sorta ish. I feel like I've definitely experimented enough. It's gonna take me just as long to clean up as it did to set up. But then I'm gonna try and get started on an epic artwork. And I definitely think the space theme is the way to make this work as effectively as possible. I mean, just look at that. that that's my, that's just my test. Oh, and it's really, it's even satisfying to like see it like get cut into and disappear as I sweep. It's really cool. You just try this at home, kids. Your parents will think you're really clever. Just grab all your kitchen salt and <laughs> spill it all over the floor and make a cool picture. They're gonna love it. <laughs> Less effective than I hoped. <laughs> I'm just making more mint. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna clean up, but I'm gonna cut now to an epic time lapse and make an epic artwork. So I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be very time consuming. Fortunately, I have a great space themed audiobook to listen to. Let's get stuck into it.
I hope you liked the result of my epic space battle. Now, I know what you were thinking. Jazza, with the vast amount of time and emotion it took to collect all of those tears to turn into all of that salt, why did you make your ultra heartfelt emotional piece a big space battle? I don't know, it's, it seems sort of fun. I mean, I guess this is emotional. Uh, there's a protagonist here uh, who um, could be feeling things. That, that's a, a ship being blown up. They probably have certain feelings about that. Bit upset maybe? Oh no, my ship. In fact, the true meaning of this piece is a little under the surface because where war is being waged in space, truly everyone inside their spacesuit is crying salty tears until the war is over. At least that's how I'm justifying it for the gag. And before you go, make sure to check out Audible. Go to audible.com slash jazza or text jazza to 500, 500 And if you do that, as a new member, you will get three months of Audible for only $6.95. I can't recommend it enough. It's a great deal and a great chance to really dive into the service and see how addictive it is. I've been listening to Will Save the Galaxy for food while painting this. That's probably the main reason I got really into the whole space theme because it's a really fun start to an audiobook and I can't wait to listen to more of it. Go check it out. I'll put some recommendations in the description to audiobooks you can get and check out. You're gonna love it. I love it. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Draw Jazz for more fun with art and creativity and until next time, <sighs> no point wasting it. We could use this on fish and chips. I just won't tell people why it tastes like feet. <laughs> see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.